Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Today we are going to start a configuration file settings change via Webuzo uh, end user admin panel. If this video is informative please like the video and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date. Let's start the lab. So uh, this is the Webuzo admin panel. Here under configuration you have uh, several things uh, is showing here PHP, Apache, MySQL, uh, Apache settings, Exim. These all are here. So suppose you have to change the configuration file of PHP. You just click on PHP, select your PHP version and your configuration file will open here. You just select that. PHP 5.6 is not installed here. You can if you select PHP 7.1 that is not also installed only install PHP 7.3 so you can set or you can change uh, any configurations you want uh, you don't need to go inside the server suppose you have hosted a server with PHP if you want to change any uh, server configuration file so you have to go inside the server and find the PHP file and then you have to configure so in the Webuso control panel is uh, helping you that uh, to configure that file via web console just go click on the PHP and you can open the PHP file and you can change the settings which you want and save it that's it this is all about PHP and here is also another option is there there is an Apache here you can set the Apache configuration file you can change also the Apache configuration file as well as there is an option to change the configuration file of PHP MySQL so you can change the configuration also here and you can set the Apache settings also from go here you can set the Apache settings you can enable or disable PHP in the Apache and last is Exim you can see the you can change the Exim server setup from here you can see that uh, the IPv6 is disable is configured here and all other things are comment if you want any uh, uh, external command you can put it here or you can also in uh, comment uh, any uh, of the configured settings so this is all about the configuration part of configuration file part which you can change from web user control panel end user control panel so thank you thank you for watching see you on the next video